Hello everyone, this is Alan from GoThrough. This is the second part of the tutorial on how to shoot, connect and publish to Google Street View with Insta360 RS1 inch. If you haven't seen the first video, like I highly recommend you to, to watch that video because you will learn lots of things about how to shoot, the distances between the images and yeah, things like that. Now, let's go ahead and connect to our uh, Insta360 camera by turning it on. And then we're gonna go into the Wi-Fi and we're gonna turn off uh, our data provider. And we're gonna wait for the Insta360 to show up in the list. And uh, yeah, you have to remember that when you disconnect from the phone, from the, the 360 camera, you have to go back in and reconnect. Okay, now let's go ahead and open the Insta360 app and we're gonna go to the album. And here I have uh, the nine uh, images that I've shot in the pharmacy that uh, we've shot. And what I would advise you to do is because we've shot in the HDR mode, we have to go through each panorama and that will convert the panorama to HDR. Once we are done with that, we go back and on the top right corner, there is a checkbox. We click on it and then we select our images by clicking on them. Once we've selected them, on the bottom, we have uh, four buttons and we are interested to the export button, which is the one most, like, most on the right side with an arrow up. So click on that. And that will start the process of exporting the images from the camera to our phone. But this process takes a bit of time, like and exporting an panorama it, uh, yeah, takes a bit of time, so we will go faster through this process. Okay, the images have been saved to our phone. Now we can go ahead and close the Insta360 application and we can turn off the camera also. Now, don't you have to remember to connect back to your internet and yeah the home internet and the data provider and then we are opening we're gonna open the go through street editor uh, mobile application this application is uh, a companion to the go through web application because it just allows you to connect images and we're gonna click on the hamburger menu on the top left corner and then log in into our account if you have a username and password you can use that if you don't have an account you have to create an account from the go through web application in my case i have a google account and just select my account and in here in this left side menu we have phone tools google through listings and profile settings now what we are interested in is the phone tours because the images are on the phone so click on the phone tours and at the bottom we have two uh, buttons one is create google business view and one create hosted virtual tours we are interested now into publishing these images to Google Street View. So we're gonna click on the Create Google Business View button. In here, we have uh, we have to create the listing in GoThrough. To create the listing, uh, we have to put the business name. And if we cannot find the business, because maybe the name is very common or it has multiple location we can put comma address so in our case is uh, how say 
from pound pharmacy so this one first we select uh, select it by clicking on it and when we are done we click on save which is the top right corner okay now we have the listing and the listing doesn't have any images in it so we're gonna go ahead and add uh, the 360 images and you're gonna notice at the bottom we have three buttons upload tour hide panorama and add panorama so we're gonna click on the add panorama button and scroll to the camera so this is an android phone so the images will be in the camera and we're gonna click and select the images that we want to add now if you want to have the images in a particular order you can select them like that so we're gonna scrape one two three um this is four five six seven eight and nine so i'm selecting the order that i want them in the application and then i'm clicking on the top right corner on the checkbox and the images are, are now added in the mobile app and now we can start connecting the 360 images now oh, yeah well it looks like the the order wasn't uh, maintained is the order that i've actually shot the images so the order is based on the file names okay so what we're gonna do is go to the first image in our tour and we just click on the image and now we need to connect this image with the next one and we're gonna scroll on the uh, bottom part till we see the second one and number five is second one and we're gonna click on number five and this is the main uh, screen where we are connecting the images and what we are doing here we are determining the direction of motion between panorama number six and panorama number five and in, we notice that uh, panorama number five is in front of the door so we're gonna move rotate the panel on the bottom till the blue line crosses the point on the ground where panorama number five is and then we're gonna rotate panel number five so the blue line crosses the same um, spot that we have in the top part of panel number six the, the bottom one yeah so this spot needs to be the same like this spot yeah? and once we've done this um i think it looks good and we're gonna just say okay the, it's about five meters here we're gonna increase the distance by clicking the plus button and then we're gonna save the connection by clicking the save connection button on the left top corner now I have the first two panel connected and what we want to do is while we are working on a tour we want to hide the images that we already connected and they have no extra connections so we are clearing up our working space now in this case number six doesn't have any extra connection uh, it's we already have like you, you can see number six is connected with five and you see five here on the left uh, corner bottom and we're gonna click on the little eye with the cross with the line to hide number six okay now we're gonna connect panel number five with the next one which is number four so we're gonna rotate number five we and we just drag le from left to right or from right to left to position where the blue line where the panel number four is and is there and then we're gonna move number four so the 
point the point here is the same like point here okay something like that that's good that's about two meters here i would say so i'm clicking the minus and then save correction now panel number five is doesn't have any extra connections it's connected already with four and six so we can hide it okay now number four and we're gonna connect four with uh, okay oh yeah so i'm inside so it's the one right in front okay with number seven and again really easy drag four position the red the blue line the same position the blue line so they fall in the same place looks good three meters i think it's okay save connection now we're not gonna hide number four because we have an extra connection here so we don't hide four yet Let's go ahead and connect seven with eight. Again, pan. Pan the top one. So yeah, the direction is the same. And three meters, I think it's good and safe connection. Uh, we can hide number seven and now we're gonna connect eight with nine again pan update and we're gonna look okay it's there are these uh, white things like what here good three meters okay save connection we're gonna hide number eight now we're gonna connect nine and nine is connected with number two and rotate this one it was good save connection let's see once once you get it it's really fast and it's easy and let's go and hide number nine. Uh, and number two is connected with number three. Connect two, I think it's somewhere like this. And that. And yeah, in the three, you can look also in here on the bottom button. So make sure that it's in the same direction. I think looks good save connection and now we're gonna close the loop between number four and number two and we're gonna click on number four and then number two and so uh no that was not correct so between number four and number three sorry about that and the image well, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, something like this. Okay, and three meter. Okay, save connection. And now we can hide number four. And we can hide number two also. And then we are down to the last connection between three and one. and one i've shot it in the middle here so i'm looking in where this one is and that's somewhere around here so that's what i'm trying to cross okay three meters is good safe connection now we have everything connected and if you want to check visually the how the constellation looks like we have this green button on the top right corner you can click on it and that's our constellation looks really good okay and go back 
and now we can go ahead and upload these uh, images and the constellation everything to our go through account by clicking the upload tool button on the left corner are you sure yes i'm sure okay so now the images are uploading <clears throat> if you have a good connection it's gonna be fast you sometimes I've, I've, been, I've done this exactly like i was i shot with the with my rs1 the tour and then i just went like outside the store or waiting talking with the owner there and created moderated the tour like in five minutes and showed the the client the tour and then published it right away okay now we're gonna reload our go through account and we have Halsey compound pharmacy we're gonna click on tools that's the, uh, the constellation and we can preview and take a look at what we did and looks pretty good as a note this uh, preview is just for uh, previewing the navigation and the quality of the preview is a bit lower uh, yeah don't use this as a virtual tour um, because it's also discontinued like after two weeks okay let's close and now it's we go have to do the last step and click on the google red button which is the google publishing section select the account if you have many in our case we have only one but you can publish directly into your google street view account of your client if you want and now let's click on publish your tour to google start publishing and okay now the tour is publishing publishing progress now since i already did this step um, i i can jump over the pro uh, publishing process and let's go to google maps and let's search for halsey compound it's here and as you see 12 days ago i have shot the tour and i can navigate as as a note google uh, can take up to 48 hours to display the um, to process the navigation between the images so don't expect the the navigation to show up right away okay so that's how easy it is to shoot connect and publish a virtual tour with the uh, insta360 rs1 inch and uh, go through super easy and process is the same for insta360 x3 also